Too late. I'm okay. starting it. You're oh, li starting? It's live. Okay. Well, apparently we're live. Apologize for the uh, the false start there. Uh, for those of you who had already tuned in and saw the 0.5 second bonus for you. That's all I have to say. Of course, I already went. Forget I'm out of here. Me and us and them and those who persevere. The perseverers. 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 Something. Something. Hey, those good ears. Tuesday night, we'll do the cocktail as you can program. Uh, episode 108, I believe. If my uh, memory is right, which might not be. I have no idea. It's just it's like one rolls into another. The next one and then the next one. And they're all just... It's, so I'm just drinking, carousing, and you got to me. Well, hey, uh, so tonight, tonight we're going to two brand new cocktails uh, and see where they take us. Hopefully somewhere interesting. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who read this book, uh, we're trying a couple of them. It's called uh, Mermaid Water. Uh, the next one's called Rain Blossom. We're going to give them a try and see what happens, see what we think. Uh, I know a few people asked, but we were making some good shaking along with this. I don't know if you had the ingredients, uh, but if you do. The sound's cutting out. The sound's cutting out. So just. Uh, apparently the sound's cutting out. Let's see if that fixed it. Uh, if it didn't, then we'll just unplug the whole thing and go ambient. We'll go live. We'll go uh, with the sound. Uh, straight through the microphone that's embedded in our filming technology. Our little mic. See, I went with an iPod tonight so that I could use our microphone. Wouldn't you know it, you know, that of course it just doesn't work. But uh, we'll see. Is anyone reporting that it's working now? Booze Kateers, you people out there, are you just listening? Are you commenting? Let us know if you can hear me or if the sound is cutting out uh, so we can remedy the situation before things go too far awry. Worse. Worse? Okay. I guess just unplug it and we'll go with the ambient microphone. Much better? Much better? Oh, this is just not. Not. Is it better or worse? Uh, is it better or worse, you guys? Somebody somebody said worse and somebody said better. So I don't know. I don't know what the heck. I don't know what the heck. Well, you know, we have to wait a second. Yeah, because so. we have to wait for the delay and then wait for somebody to comment uh, and then come back to it there. Um, so I'll we'll just talk about things that aren't important, like uh, quantum physics. I don't know. Well, you're just gonna unplug it. All right. All right we're it's going. probably not plugged in all the way. It's probably just yeah. Just take it off. Gonna take this off. Forget it. Now, hopefully, now hopefully you can hear me through the system. Through the system. I don't know. I haven't used this iPod in a while. Hopefully, it's not uh, all clogged up with filth. That would not be unusual because you know. Because of us. Because we're filthy animals. That's why we get down to this show every Tuesday night. To wallow in our own filth. Booze filth. To wallow in our booze filth. Uh, is anyone reporting yet? Is this better? Is this working now? I know you don't. I'm, I'm just wondering. I don't want to start talking about stuff that's important. If uh, I can't is... tell because nobody's really serious. So I can't tell if, it, if... Okay. Well, we'll just end the program. We'll just say, forget it. We're not going to do it. Nobody's going <laughs> to Nobody's going to answer. Well, I mean, they're answering. Sure. I know, answering. but they're, CJ is answering nonsense, I know. <laughs> <coughs> That's okay. No, it's okay. Just keep going. Is it okay? Can you hear me? I don't know. I can hear you fine. Is there any, are there any boozketeers out there who aren't already <laughs> drunk who can report as to whether or not the sound is working? Probably not. I okay. Uh, it's better. Okay. Okay. All righty. Well, then let's just get started, shall we? Let's dive right on in to the mermaid water. Let's take a deep, a deep, refreshing plunge and swim with the mermaids. Let's see where it takes us. Hopefully somewhere exotic, not filled with skeletons. <laughs> we already are. Fooled you. Look at that. Uh, so, what do we need? We need uh, ice shaker. We're going to need some rum. We need some coconut rum. We're gonna need some pineapple juice. We got that over here. We're gonna need some spiced rum. Spice rum. We're gonna need blue curacao. I don't know if that's in here. It is. It is. There it is. 
blue curacao lime waves. Okay, that's the stuff. So, we take our trusty shaker. Put in the ice. Put in the ices. And then, start with the spice drum. Because that's what the recipe says to do. And uh, one ounce. delicious long pork. No, spice rum. One ounce of spice rum. Here that is. One ounce coconut rum. Now I'm using a, we've talked about this before, I'm using the Malibu Black which clocks in at 70 proof. So this ain't your grandma's coconut rum. This ain't the stuff that, uh, you know, this is the good stuff. The high octane. You clearly don't know my grandma. <laughs> That's right. I clearly do not know producer Maggie's grandma. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to meet her, though, if she goes with the high octane. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. Four ounces of pineapple juice. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You bastards. Got to get in there. Mm -hmm. that in. I'm going to take that. Uh, half ounce of fresh squeezed pine juice. Just have to have some right here. Yeah, half ounce. What do you know? I was right when I read that. I never know. Sometimes I'll like say something and then realize it makes absolutely no sense. Sometimes I don't realize it. And I just operate as though it did. Uh, one dash. Blue. I don't know how much a dash is really, but I'm going to go that much. Maybe is that too much? Is that enough? Yeah. There we go. I think the blue curacao is just to give it a nice green tinge, but with the pineapple juice and the whatnot and so forth. And uh, today we're going to break the rule. Just because we're a little low on ice. So I'm just going to use the ice that I shook it with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get in there. Give it back. There we go. Uh, and then you garnish with a lime le lime le le a ledge. Garnish with a lime on the ledge. Right there. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, I'm going to squeeze that and throw it in. Mm. Couple straws for aiding of the drinking. And let's see what happens. Shall we? Alright, here we go. Mermaid water. Well, that's fine. It tastes like a, you know, it's a pineapple-y. It's a very tropical tasting drink. It's just a, it's a, I would say, pretty standard tiki bar fare kind of thing. Uh, I find no fault. Pineapple rum drink. Who? How can that? How can that? Can that go wrong? Can it? Does that go wrong? Can it? Will it? Would you? Could you? For a dollar? I don't know. Mm. So, as you may or may not have noticed, looking here at the fantastic Wicked Wench, we're making progress. We're making progress. We're getting it back to, back into health. I can see we got bookcases now built. Man, maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. I don't know. <clears throat> but I can, and that's the important thing, is that I can bask in its splendor. Yeah. Maybe you can't, but I can. Mm. <sighs> Not a bad drink. Um, yeah, I was scouring up to the um, There were a few different things that I uh, like, paused at. Thought, you know. Maybe I'll make this. Maybe I'll make that. You know, I tried a few different things. I was looking at some of the old, um, some of the old luau drinks, uh, and I almost made the, I almost made the uh, coconut monkey. We've made the crow's nest before, uh, and that's a good one. But I thought, you know, I got cream. I got the banana, banana puree back there. I could make the coconut monkey. That one was good. Um, and I thought there's also the, uh, there's, there was a bunch of, we had made some good drinks, and I thought, you know. 
It's my show. I can make them, can't I? Yeah. And then I thought, maybe I should, I got an ice crusher. I thought maybe I should make something with crushed ice, since I have an ice crusher. But I didn't, because, because uh, it didn't call for it, mostly. But I could have. Just so you know, I could have crushed the ice. I could have. Could have had a cup full of crushed I could have made the, uh, a, a proper Mai Tai with a glass full of crushed ice. It's a good thing. But no, instead I decided on these two drinks, and so far I am not displeased. Like I said, this one's a pretty, it's a, I think it needed more blue curacao though, because it's a, if this is a, you know, the mermaid tears and whatnot. Yeah, they're, they're thinking about something other than the, than the uh, you know. It's not green, it's supposed to be green. I, it said, it said add blue curacao on the recipe. Uh, and I, so I went with a dash, because it didn't say how much. I don't know why. And I didn't experiment, I didn't try it out. I figured we were going live, we were trying this out together to see what happens. And I would say what happens is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, amend, amend the recipe from a dash to a splash. How about that? Let's see if we can do I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna, I'm gonna update it a little bit with some new firmware here. See what happens. See if we can get some nice, a nice aquamarine color. That's better. That's a little better. I would say that's a nice, well, that's a better, wouldn't you say it's a better uh, ocean-y, mermaid-y color? The other one looked like maybe it was, you know, in a reptile zoo in Florida or something. You don't want to drink that. Mm -hmm. But I know Boosketeer, you know, Boosketeer uh, Aaron, he slept in an abandoned reptile zoo one time when he was crossing the country. I don't think he drank the water, though. I wouldn't have. But, you know. Altered the taste slightly as well. A little sweeter. Took a little bit of the edge off the acidity of the pineapple. I have a feeling this is probably one of those drinks that might be good for sitting out on the porch. Hot day, you know. You're sitting out there and it's hot. And you're thinking, man, I wish I had a refreshing cocktail about now. You could make here, you make the mermaid water. Plop yourself down. Throw crackers, you know. All the good things. So the, the love of summer right there. Sitting on your porch, throwing crackers, drinking mermaid water. I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. Right up. Um, if I had the board, I could put it on the board somewhere, but I don't know where. It's a, it's, it's, it's a pretty uh, accessible. I would say it's an accessible cocktail. It's one of those ones where, you know, someone say, here, you want a tropical cocktail? You drink this thing, you're like, yeah, it's a tropical cocktail. That works. You know? So how's everybody doing out there in their isolation? Are you guys boozing it up? I heard some reports that people were saying, man, if I, if I, if, I, if, if, if uh, yeah, they said if. No, um, <clears throat> I know everybody's like getting bored and getting restless and, you know, this now is the time for day drinking. That's all I have to say. Because... You're your own boss now, and uh, if your boss is an alcoholic, what are you supposed to do about it? Pfft, you know, nothing. Take advantage. <sighs> but I've actually did. The, I saw a thing where they have people who are working from home now. They have you have to have a webcam on your on your computer, and they watch you like every five minutes. They check in to make sure you're working. So I would say what you should do is uh, get a water bottle so they can't actually see what you're drinking, and uh, you know. Say mmm water every time you drink out when it's actually vodka. Yeah. But you can go with a four martini lunch now, <clears throat> and no one is gonna smell it on your breath, so you could go with gin, you don't have to go with a vodka. Yeah, it's the bonus of working from home. Alrighty, there you go, booze I don't know if any did anyone uh, make up uh, the uh, the mermaid water? Did anyone shake one up? I know Chad said he was gonna shake along. He asked for the recipe yesterday, but I didn't have it, so uh, but I stuck it up there to see what would happen. <sighs> mm. Well, that was okay. But now, 
I'm very excited about the uh, the rain blossom because it's, this one's more complicated. This one has a has more stuff going on in it, and it has more on it in it. There's more in it on it in it things with stuff. So I suppose I could get right down to it, but I don't know. Sometimes I wonder, should I even drink? What's this all about, Alfie? Okay, that was the mermaid water, but before we move on further, I think I should let you know that there is a virtual tip jar on tikiking.com slash booze, and if you like what we're doing, uh, throw some tips for the tipsy. Help us keep the bar stocked in this time of need, in our horrendous day of uh, odiferous uh, latitude. <coughs> Sometimes throwing a few quarters my way will make me run and scurry as though I were a one-legged duck. Um, but no, seriously, go to tkingcom slash booze, throw a couple quarters in, if you so desire. And that will keep me, uh, you know, buying the boozes. Because it ain't cheap. And, uh, you know, they call the police when you walk out without paying. <clears throat> but, uh, okay. Let's try the rain blossom. Shall we? Alright. So we're going to start this one by moving things around. With a shaker on one side or the other. Over here. There we go. We need some ice in there. All right. So, what do we need for this? We need some high octane, no holds barred. Let's get down to business. Boozage. Boozitude. Boozorama. Boozolatrix. This could be the end of things, folks. One never knows. But what I do know is that we're going to need three quarters of an ounce of plantation, overproof, 69% rum. I know there's a thing on here that tells me what I'm doing. Seriously. Three quarters of an ounce. Right in the old, right in the old shaker, <clears throat> and then three quarters of an ounce of the Ray and Nephew, also overproof rum. We're 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 knocking up the octane on this drink here. This is one. This could uh, this could be the one. All right, three quarters, three quarters. What else do we have? Uh, then we're going to need one ounce Canton ginger liqueur. Maybe. I remember inviting Hercules over for Canton. Uh, one ounce of this. John Taylor's Velvet Falernum Liqueur, uh, which is the boozy kind. This has rum in it, so. How much of that do we need? One ounce. Boom, boom, boom. Pow, pow. One half ounce. Luxardo. Luxardo. Whoa. The Luxardo Maraschino Liqueur, known throughout the world as, Mar as, a, as a Luxardo Maraschino Liqueur, by those who know. How much do you need? Half ounce. Do. Then, uh, what else? Oh. Then we're going to need half ounce of lemon juice. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Bing, bing. Half ounce lime juice. Bing, bing. Right in the old shaker. 
and give it a shake. Garnish with an orange and a cherry. And having a tiny cocktail parasol. Just cuz. Cuz we're there. Cuz we're having some tiki treats tonight. A couple of straws for good measure. Alrighty, the rain blossom. I like it. I think I would have uh, been happier had I had a little more ice. I think it could use a slight uh, amount more dilution. Um, but other than that, I think it tastes like a, uh, you know, tastes like a tiki cocktail. You want to try it, Producer Maggie? No? I'm enjoying it in a uh, fabulous Trigger Mort's Tiki Mug. If you happen to be in the San Diego area, don't go by because I don't know if they're open. Um, but uh, once, this is whole, once this whole quarantining business is over with, head on down to Trigger Mort's San Diego out on Shelter Island. Pick yourself up a genuine Trigger Mort's Tiki Necklace, hand-carved and hand-cast by Tiki King himself, and uh, sold there. Not by me, so don't ask. I don't say I like this one. This is good. This would have been a good opportunity for the ice crusher. Because had this been filled with crushed ice, that would have added the perfect amount of dilution. And we would be, you know, we would be there. Here. Only there. Here. <sighs> Alrighty. Did anyone, so no one shook that one up either, I'm assuming. They're all like, what is this? Say? Falernum, what? Ginger liqueur? No one has that stuff. All I have is a Pabst Blue Ribbon and a half a bottle of Pucker Apple Schnapps. You know, it's like, <clears throat> sorry, have, have yourself a uh, Pucks Pucker, which is half Pabst and half uh, Apple Pucker. Which, you know, could be good. I don't know. Yeah. Light it on fire. That's what Captain Boosnana says. Light it on fire. I don't think, I, you can't, can't actually light Pabst on fire. I mean, at first. You can, eventually. But not at first, not in the beginning. Well, normally at this point I'd say, hey, you should come out and see uh, the Wicked Tinkers at the places that we're playing, but we're not. Um, as you may or may not know, we're not playing much anywhere until probably sometime around June-ish, July, maybe. We don't know. Keep an eye on the calendar, and, uh, and as soon as we know things, we'll let you know. Um, and uh, as for me, I'll probably just be here making tiki necklaces. Go to uh, tikiking.com. No, tiki king. www.tikiking.net. Yes? Producer Maggie. Okay, go to tikiking.net, and there's a whole bunch of fun stuff up there that you can buy. Uh, there's some new necklaces. Hey, if you're in the Paradise Club, your, your, uh, your daily ration of uh, uh, stuff will be going out shortly. Um, and I know we had a, a recent new subscriber, so uh, your stuff will be going out as well. So I'm working. I'm uh, hard at work when I'm not drinking. So the rain blossom. I'm going to say I like it, and I'm going to say I know where all that overproof rum went. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, this. This one is strong. This is not for the faint of liver. This is a, this is the one that you make to either uh, get your night started or to get guests out of your house. Let's say one or the other. <laughs> Whichever, whatever tool you need, this might be the hammer to pound that particular nail. Mm, yeah. Uh, so there we go. There's not a whole lot. That's you know. 
That's it. That's all I got. I guess. I don't know. Is there something, is there something else? Does the show usually go on longer? I don't know. Sometimes I think that maybe I should, it seems like it seems like back in the beginning, you know, like a hundred episodes ago, I made like one drink and that took an hour. I don't understand. Now I'm like, I'm gonna get six drinks and it's like, how long has it been? Five minutes. Oh, sh crap. You know. <clears throat> but uh, I think I used to look up a lot more things and drone on and on about nonsense that was not interesting nonsense. I think it might have been just you know, I was coming through the forest, hacking away things with a saber, <clears throat> more theatrical. Which I could get back to. I could do that. Don't challenge me. Because I could, you know, I could do things. I could do stuff. And things. I actually had thought about tonight. I was like, you know, maybe we should just not make drinks. Maybe we should just, uh, you know, live stream shooting the, the flintlock. Just sit outside, drinking rum, shooting the flintlock. It wouldn't be educational. But, uh, but it might be dangerous. And that's, you know, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. This is probably the best time. You know, if you're looking for danger right now, probably the best time to do it. Because, uh, I didn't say to. Tiki King says, stay safe. Don't blow your fingers off. That's, my, that's one of my mottos. Don't blow your fingers off. I was thinking about making a, a t-shirt that says that. Right after I make the... Uh, the uh, Captain Boo's Nana's t-shirt that says set it on fire. Yes, we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to try it. We'll see what happens. I know, I said, I said fire. I know. You, you settle down. All righty, Boosketeers. I'm going to call it an end to this show because uh, I ran out of things to say. And I know that seems weird, but... Uh, you know, better than nothing, I guess. Or better than some things. I'm probably, probably me ending the show is better than the show itself. Maybe not. I don't know. How should I know? Alrighty, Boosketeers. I'm Tiki King, and this is Tuesday night. And until we meet again, happy trails to you. Good night, and good drink.